Welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. Basically, we give you more information so you can make a better purchasing decision. On today's show, Dan Paris is going to introduce you to the all-new Toyota Yaris, thanks to City Toyota. They come in many shapes and sizes, but this is the four-door hatch variety. I take to the skies in a helicopter and fly over Rottnest Island thanks to Rotovation. This is absolutely spectacular. And our Sander Dealer of the Week is New Pioneer Motors. We're not so much a small town as what we used to be, but I think we've definitely still got that small town mentality. I find out a little bit about diesel injectors thanks to Ken Ringrose and United Fuel Injection. What are some of the telltale signs that an injector is not running right? You would get hard starting problems for fuel economy. You can also get things like uh, a knocking sound. And our Wasanda celebrity hitchhiker today is Tegan Nash from Saturday Morning Disney. What's your opinion of the best car ever made? I would love one of those really cool old school like combi vans. So get comfortable because it's time for Zoom TV. Think of a car that's fun to drive and it's pretty cool to look at. It's a clever car and it's one that you're most likely going to buy brand new. Reason being, well, it's affordable. So quite simply, you can. I'm talking about the Toyota Yaris YRX. They come in many shapes and sizes, but this is the four-door hatch variety. And I've borrowed it from the wonderful team at City Toyota right here in Perth. Now, I should point out, this isn't a car you're going to see leading the pack out at Wanneroo Raceway. It is, however, economical. Incredibly so, it turns out, which is exactly what the creators had in mind when they designed it. Under the bonnet is a 1.5-litre four-cylinder petrol engine with the perfect amount of poke to zip you around the city and lead you out the highway in comfort. On average, the vehicle uses very little fuel. In fact, just 6.3 litres per 100 kilometres. Now, the drive comes from the front wheels, which will make doing donuts a bit of a problem. And in this model, there's a four-speed auto or the five-speed manual transmission. But back to those looks. Now, for a guy who's much more at home in a big, robust Land Cruiser, I've got to say, I actually like this neat little package. But then why wouldn't I with its sports front grille and headlights, alloy wheels and matching body colour bumpers? Could it be possible that this car might turn heads? Now, Wayne, this is a, quite an incredible car. It's amazing that they've crammed so much into this new model but kept it quite affordable as well. What's the price on this guy? There are a few models in the range, Dan, and you're looking at $15,990 drive away for the starting model through to $21,390 is a recommended retail for this car that you've been reviewing. And don't forget you've got the uh, government and statutory charges as well on top of that. Oh, that's brilliant too. And it actually seems, having had a drive, it actually seems like it's a bigger car inside. Is, is that true? Yeah, and, and the way they work actually is a small car, but with a really wide platform. And to do that, they push the wheels to the corners, and that actually gives a better footprint on the road, give you a feel that you're driving a big car, even though you're in a small car, and a lot of great stability. Mm. Oh, it's a, it's a really wonderful piece of technology. It's a very safe car too, it turns out, isn't it? It has a five-star safety rating, which includes that vehicle stability control as well. And it's a good-looking car too. I mean, it's the sort of thing that stands out on the road. That's right. And actually, when you get in the car, it's actually got really high pivot points, so you can actually get in and out of that car really easily. So even from a younger buyer to an older buyer, it's actually very good to get in and out of that car without dipping down into a small car. Something you probably wouldn't notice, but uh, it's a great convenience. Well, that's right. Yeah, very good. And to continue that theme, let me point out a couple of sporty additions on the inside too. First up, the wheel. It's D-shaped, it's moulded, and it's home to a set of audio controls. Sporty. You may not realise, but right now I'm also very snug. Can you guess why? Bucket seats. That's sporty too. The Yaris YRX is also full of technology. There's things like keyless entry, Bluetooth, USB and SD card connections, and of course, there's cruise control. 
Another feature here is the traffic avoidance system, which provides up to the minute info on the road conditions ahead. If there's an accident, two things happen. You get warning to detour, and the chance for a cheeky wave at everyone still travelling straight ahead. Now safety features heavily in this car too. Things like the high strength impact absorbing structure, which Toyota have called the safety cell, the seven airbags, and the seats have been specially designed with whiplash reducing technology. They're not there by accident. They're there for one. To sum up, this little beauty is here to put the fun back into practical. It's a fuel efficient, sporty car that suits both the family and a fast paced urban lifestyle. Best place to find one is in the showroom of City Toyota, or you can follow the links from Zoom TV. If you're finding your diesels lacking a little bit of torque or not getting the economy it used to, you need to get in here and see the guys at United Fuel Injection. To find out more, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the link from our website. After the break, I'm going to introduce you to Rotnest in WA from the skies in a helicopter, thanks to the guys from Rotovation. That's next on Zoom TV. Flight is something that has always fascinated me. The ability to take to the sky and soar like a bird, I find truly amazing. Now, most of us would only ever get to experience flight in a commercial jet. However, and trust me on this, the only way, in fact, the best way to experience flight is in your very own helicopter. Now, I know what you're thinking, chartering a helicopter is only for the rich and famous. But not now, because thanks to Rotovation, you can. And the best thing is, you don't have to mortgage your house. Rotovation is based at the Janicott Airport in Western Australia, which, believe it or not, is one of the busiest airports in the Southern Hemisphere. They operate seven days a week and have a range of experiences. Today, our pilot Mike is taking us over to Rotnest, which is about 20 minutes away. Then from there, we head to the city to get up close and personal with Perth, and then we're off to Millbrook Winery. We might even get the chance to taste some of the local produce. And then we're back here to Jandicott. Now, the whole trip should take about one hour and promises to be a lot of fun. Are we ready, Mike? We certainly are. Okay, well, how about we get this adventure started? Yeah. Well, Mike, this is absolutely spectacular. I've been over here on a plane, but this is, I don't know, it's a different kind of point of view on a chopper. There's nothing like a helicopter. The view, the feeling, it really is. You can see why it's the ultimate way to travel. It's incredible. It really is just like having wings. Can you tell us a little bit about the chopper we're in, Mike? What is this? This is a uh, Robinson 44. We also operate larger choppers in our fleet, but this is by far my favourite. So, Mike, what other adventures do you offer people out at Rotovation? Uh, we can go anywhere. You tell us where you want to go and we can give you a quote. We can get landing approval at most places that it's safe to land a chopper. We can go anywhere. Now, Mike, you don't just do joy flights and experiences like that. If someone falls in love with flight itself, you can teach them how to fly a chopper. Well, the flying school is a big part of our business, and the best thing to do is to book a trial flight. Whether you want to learn to fly, or even if you just want to do it for fun, you get to go up with an instructor. Rotovation specialises in advanced flight training. Their complete flight training courses equips every student with not only their chopper licence, but a complete understanding for the aviation industry. They assure me that teaching students to fly is just the beginning. They deliver every student with a toolkit for life. Mike, this is absolutely one of the best days of my life, I've got to tell you. Simply sitting inside this helicopter is a lot of fun. You have the best job in the world. Is there any chance you uh, would want to employ a part-time driver? Ah, certainly. <laughs> we take applications. <laughs> oh, seriously, that was so much fun. If there's one thing you've got to give a go, it is flying in a helicopter. Now, my experience is almost over, but Mike's promised me a nice healthy meal here at the Millbrook Winery, so I'm off to get that. Now, if you would like to know anything more about helicopters or even buy one yourself, go to rotovation.com.au or even follow the links from Zoom TV. Let's go, mate, I'm so hungry. After the break, I'll introduce you to this week's Asanda Dealer of the Week, plus, tell you exactly what they do in this room. Thanks to United Fuel Injection, that's next on Zoom TV. If you're like me and you like a spoonful of sugar in your coffee, have you ever stopped and thought, where did that sugar come from? Well, more than likely it came from here, Mackay, North Queensland, one of the biggest producers of sugar in Australia. All of this sugar cane. That is a big manufacturing plant for sugar. Now, Asana's brought me here not to give you an agricultural lesson, but to introduce you to one of the sweetest Holden dealers in Australia, New Pioneer Motors. Now, I'm just waiting for Tim to come and pick me up. 
He said he'd be on time. Actually, I think this is him now. You have to be Tim. Thanks for being on time, Tim. Aaron Pitt, how are you? How are you going, Aaron? Thanks for picking me up. Mate, I hope you brought some water. Sugar cane's great, but it's a little bit dehydrating. Let's go. Tim, thanks for picking us up. I've always wanted to taste fresh sugar cane. I've got to tell you, it doesn't taste like sugar. It's not that flash, is it? <laughs> it doesn't give you a lot of water. Um, now, before we get to your dealership, I just want to ask a couple of questions about you. Firstly, how did you get involved in the car industry? It's just been something that I've been enthusiastic about since a young, young boy. So, uh, 17, 18 years of age, selling new and used vehicles, and it's just been one of those things from there. It's taken off. So, your dad starts up New Pioneer. You come in as uh, the the manager, or was there a story between there and now? To be perfectly honest, there was a lot of years of washing cars, Aaron. <laughs> a lot of years of a lot of hard work before any of the glory came into this. So was it always the intention that you were going to take on the family business? It was never my intention initially. Um, I was always, well, I did go into a law degree before um, I finished that early and, and finished a business degree and, and came back and worked at the dealership. But it is something that the family's always been involved in. and. That's something that I wish to continue another generation. Mate, now you've picked me up in a bit of style. You've got me in the uh, Club Sport R8. I love the new dash, I love the layout. Holden have really worked, worked hard to make the car look beautiful. Ergonomically, they're a fantastic car, and you're right, aesthetically, they've gone to a lot of effort in the new VF model to make them very appealing to the general public. I love the new suede dash and carbon fibre trimmings. I think probably the most impressive thing is the new my link infotainment system in the VF Commodore. Everything from navigation to driver interfaces to Stitcher and Pandora. This is the dealership, this is cool. Service straight to the front door. <laughs> Tell you what, it's a lot bigger than I thought. It's massive. Whoa, so this is huge. It's a, actually, we're very, very fortunate. So about five years ago, they did a full revamp or fully air conditioned, so. Which is great, because I've got to tell oh, you, everywhere I go in Queensland, it's hot. <laughs> I love the right. range of Holden coming through, but before I get into that, I want to talk more about your dealership. Wow, and it goes all the way down there as well. This is huge. Yeah, we're really impressed with our facility up here. This dealership was actually established by your father, wasn't it? Most certainly. So 25 years ago, he took over. Um, we're the second generation now running the dealership. Tim, it's easy to see that you have made a massive investment in Holden. You must love the brand. We've had a lot of faith in the brand for a number of years, and obviously, we're very enthusiastic about them. Is that what you think makes your dealership a bit unique, is the fact that it's not a job for you? It's probably easier to say it's a hobby? I couldn't, for the life of me, think of something else that I'd rather be doing. Now, I want to ask a couple of questions about Holden because mm. I think they held on to what they were for maybe a little bit too long. Mm. But the way they're thinking now is they've gone, well, we're not just going to do what everyone else is doing. We're going to do it a lot better. Yeah, technology is paramount, and you can see that in the new VF Commodore. So things like collision avoidance systems, heads up display. It's one of those things at the end of the day, I think the package that they put together is all rounded. Now, the range, they've actually come a long way. The Cruise, of course, mm. and the new Holden, they're out. How are they doing? So Commodore's taken off really, really well. So Commodore and Cruise, both Australian built, we're very proud of that fact, especially being in a small town. I think it's important to be able to embrace local product. Now, Tim, I get asked a lot of questions from people about servicing. So I want to ask you about the Holden servicing. So effectively, the manufacturer dictates service interval. So at the moment, under cap price servicing with Holden, nine months or 15,000 kilometres. Um, I think at our service division in particular, we're fast, we're friendly, and at the end of the day, that small town mentality really shows through. Now, Tim, thanks for having us here in Mackay. I've got to say, the dealership is a lot bigger than what I expected. Now, I want to put the small town mentality to the test. I want you to be my tourist guide and show me around my car. Are you up for the challenge? Love to. There you go. In a HSV? Deal. There you go. I got my way twice. Now, if you'd like to get your way, go to newpioneermotors.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. One of our premium partners here on Zoom TV is United Fuel Injection. They specialise in servicing your diesel and making sure you're getting more torque out of it with diesel injections and also turbo diesels. Now, how do I know all this? Because Ken Ringrose, the man next to me, how are you, sir? Good, has been my personal diesel technician mentor, I'd like to call you. Now, where are we standing at the moment in United Fuel Injection? Marin, this is our calibration room. This is where all our state-of-the-art equipment is, is kept. We're testing common rail diesel pumps and injectors. Now, there's a myth out there that you always have to buy new, but 
you believe at United Fuel Injection you can always bring an old part and make it perfect. These components are repairable and unlike what uh, the common belief is that they are new only in these type of vehicles, they're repairable and very often the repaired product is as good as a new one. Okay, now what people at home would be thinking is if they do buy a reconditioned part off you, and they can anywhere in Australia, does it come with a warranty? Absolutely. Warranty is, is generally 12 months, 20,000, but it can be extended depending on the product we've repaired. Okay, and the big question, what kind of saving would they make? Well, the saving is, is generally about approximately 50%, perhaps sometimes 25%, but bearing in mind that when the unit is repaired, it is 98% brand new anyway. And this machine we're standing in front of, what does this do? Well, this unit here goes through each individual injector, we'll test it and rewrite a new calibration code to it, which needs to be put into the ECU of the vehicle. When that injector goes in, it is 100%. There's no human error allowed. It's either right or it's wrong. Now, this machine looks quite complicated. Is uh, reconditioning the injector someone could just do themselves? Absolutely not, Aaron. They are, um, it takes years of training for these guys to learn how to do these units properly. Even to operate the bench, they have to do a special course to operate it. Okay, now what are some of the telltale signs that an injector is not running right? Um, you, you would get hard starting problems for fuel economy. You can also get things like uh, a knocking sound and obviously um, smoke emission. Things like that will, will give you an indication there's something wrong with your fuel injection system. Ken, again, you've educated me and turned me into a diesel technician. Now, if you'd like to know more about your diesel, head to unitedfuel.com.au. Trust me, they're a premium partner and they won't let you down. After the break, we catch up with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker, Tegan Nash from Saturday Morning Disney. She's with me next on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now joined by Tegan Nash, host of Saturday Morning Disney. Tegan, how are you? Hey. Come in here. Come... Ah, it's the only time nice I get to you. kiss pretty girls. <laughs> nice to meet you as well. Now, you host Saturday Morning Disney. Yes. Do you feel like the leader of the most powerful audience there is in the country? Oh, I don't know about the leader. There's three of us. So they've got Nathan and Candace as well, and you myself. You look like the leader when I see you guys together. Oh, you look like the leader. I don't know. You secretly are. Could right? be, secretly, <laughs> yes. But shh, don't tell the other guys. <laughs> so how do you get involved? How do you get involved in TV um, presenting? Well, I've been performing my whole life. So singing, dancing, acting, the whole hoo-ha. <laughs> yeah, and then I was at a modelling gig and I kind of met some guy that was like, oh, I want to teach you to be a presenter, and then just fell in love with that from there. So I've always been performing and just love meeting new people. If you weren't presenting, you wouldn't have met me. Exactly. Just remember that. That's how the world works. So, so if there was someone out there and they wanted to follow in your footsteps, firstly, you'd just tell them, I suppose, using the modelling of what you did, put yourself out there. Yeah, exactly. And this, the industry can be really hard, so just have tough skin and just believe in yourself, because if you don't get something, it's not because you did a bad job. It's they know what they want, they have a certain look, so just keep going if it's your dream. Tell us about your job, like uh, I suppose people would presume Saturday morning you only work Saturday mornings, but I bet you do no, more than that. Yeah, so it's an awesome job, it's the best job ever. Take we us work, through your week. So we work five days a week, mm -hmm. um, we write our own scripts, we um, source our own stories, wow. um, yeah, so we go out and we film it, then we bring it back in and we do like a paper edit, so we write down all the time codes in order and put it all in order and then send it to the editor. And that's it? Yeah. And when do you actually film the, the links? Um, we could, we film any time. So maybe like three times a week we could film or like twice a week, it just depends, yeah. Okay, and what's the, the favourite part of your job? The best thing so far has, we recently went to LA and Disneyland, awesome time, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> What my was dreams it? come true. That sounds really cool. I don't really want to talk about your job much anymore because, <laughs> yeah, my job kind of sucks now. <laughs> I do get to drive around in the Zoomobile though. That's yeah, pretty cool. That is pretty awesome. That is pretty cool That's thing. awesome. Now it's time for the Santa Claus 5. You ready for that? Okay, yes. Okay. What was the first car you ever owned? I had a silver Barina. The three door? Or did you have the four door? Three door, which was a little bit of a punish. <laughs> kind yes. of like a coupe. <laughs> yes. You had, it. had a sports coupe. The yes. smallest sports coupe you ever get. But I loved it. What is your opinion of the worst car ever made? The worst car ever made? You want made. you drive along and you're like, oh, so do not want to look at that car. Ooh, purple cars. I, I was like saying that. you're a brunette, yeah? Yeah. A bit of blonde coming through, I think you would agree. 
<laughs> Purple cars. What's your opinion of the best car ever made? The best car ever made. Is there a car out there that you go and you go, I want that car? I would love one of those really cool old school like combi vans. Really? Like a surfer like would you would you have it decked out like you could live in there or would it just be empty in the back? Just be empty. Maybe have like a few seats. <laughs> yeah. Like like just I was a friends. surfer. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I can't really surf. Um, what is the car that you currently drive? I have a red Mazda. That's it. Yep. You're not gonna give us a big bigger hint of what it is. You don't know, do you? Oh, Mazda 2. There you go. Yes. <laughs> Two's better than one. And the final question, you ready for this one? Yes. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is spiders. You're like the third person that... Is there spiders maybe in the like, green room? People I actually aren't about? have severe arachnophobia. You have been a champion. Good luck with the rest of your thank career. You it's only so just much. started, yes. but I've got a bit of a hunch that it's going to be big. Ah, uh, thank and you. And then we're going to be friends. Yeah, best Done. friends. Thank you very much. See thank you. Kiss too. Love. Love my thank job. Thank you. So that's our show. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au. And while you're there, download our free iPhone app, made free thanks to Asanda. And look out for our new website that should be launching in the next couple of weeks. Now, if you belong to an enthusiast club and you've got something coming up, tell us about it. Follow the links from our website. You never know, we might even attend. And if you've got something cool that flies, drives or floats, make a video between one and two minutes long, upload it to YouTube, then send the link to Zoomaholic at zoomtv.com.au and you could be on the show with me. Until next week, bye for now. Thanks for watching, and remember, whatever you do that zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.